All right, my friends, we are doing another grammar page today. This is page 177, 177, and it's consistent tenses, consistent. Consistent means it stays the same. Um, and so what they're saying is if we are, um, you know, making a, a longer sentence or combining a couple of sentences, if we're talking about the same thing, we want to make sure that our um, verb tenses are the same throughout. Hmm. I hope that makes sense. Let's, let's read in the box and see if we can um, clear that up a little bit. Verb tenses help readers understand when different events in a story happen. To clearly show when events take place, choose the best tense for the situation. Remember, the tenses are past, present, and future right? Change the tense only when you want to show a change in time. Okay, so let's take a look at the example. It says, yesterday we started to research our history project. Yesterday is a really big clue, right? Yesterday, if we're talking about tenses, it was, sorry, my earring's kind of crooked there. and I don't know why those, sorry. Yesterday is a really big clue to tell us that it was something that happened in the past, right? Yeah. Um, today we make a poster for the presentations. Today is another clue that it is a present. And we make, so we're doing it right now. It's happening right now, today. And the next sentence says, we will complete the project next week. So next week is our hint there telling us that it is in the future. And also notice that word will, will complete. That means it's going to happen in the future to read the sentences below and think about the relationship between the events. So a few things are listed. So a few events are listed in each sentence. We are going to find which verb is in the wrong tense. Okay, and then we're going to write the correct verb. Let's, let's read number one together. Last weekend, Max finds an old diary in the attic and showed it to his mother. Okay, well, We've got some clues in here to help us. It says last weekend. So that was in the past, right? Take a look at our next verb. It says Max finds. Finds makes it sound like he's doing it right now, that it's happening. He finds an old diary. <gasps> but it was supposed to be last weekend. We need to change that verb finds to the past. What is the past version? Found. Found. And the other clue in there is it says, and showed it to his mother. Showed has an ED on the end, which we learned the other day, shows past tense. So it was last weekend and showed, we've got to change finds to found. So I'm going to write found on the line. Just like that, found. Okay. Number two, the diary was dusty and they will wonder how old it was. Hmm, will wonder is in the future. It's got that word will in there. But it also says the diary was dusty. Hmm, I think I would change will wonder to wondered. Wondered. The diary was dusty and they wondered how old it was. Doesn't that make some more sense? Yeah, we have to make sure those tenses are consistent, that they stay the same throughout. So since we have was dusty, we're going to say wondered. So I'm going to take out will wonder and I'm going to write wondered. Just like that. Okay. Number three, and remember, you can pause the video anytime you need to. Number three, Max's mother reads the date on the first entry. She was so surprised she almost dropped the diary on the floor. Mm, okay, so the first one is reads. So it sounds like it's a present tense. She's doing it right now. The next one says she was so surprised. Was, and then the ed on the or the d on the end of surprise. That means it happened in the past, right? She was so surprised. And then the next verb was dropped. And it has a D on the end, so it happened in the past. 
there's two things that happened in the past and then the one that reads that happens in the present, that's the one we better change. So instead of Max's mother reads the date on the first entry, how could we say that in the past? Max's mother read the date on the first entry. It is spelled the same, but without an S on it, right? But we pronounce it red. So we're going to write it right there, R-E-A-D. Max's mother read the date on the first diary. There, there we are. I look at it backwards in the screen. You have to know. I'm sorry. Okay, so there we go. We did one, two, and three together. I want you to try four and five on your own. Remember to make those tenses consistent. They have to be the same throughout. So there's going to be one that's wrong, and there will be some clues to help you out. So see if you can figure it out. Thank you.